uh, ambulance ride, <laughs> hospital admittance, and a couple of days later, uh, raised cardiac enzymes and apparently had some sort of a uh, cardiac episode. official video that I'm making that wasn't the introduction since I'm coming back from my little hiatus. It is. She's getting dark and it's Saturday. Oh! 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 Just fucking about to rip out the old... Oh, excuse me. Just friggin' going down the, the death, the, the driveway of death. I got, the, got this, got the, the, the infinity of death. I don't know what that is. The Honda of death. Not sure. Oh, the drunk car of death for sure. Oh my goodness, how much have you been drinking? Buddy, they are higher, they are high as shit. Oh, they're definitely going to prison. There is no doubt about it, they are definitely going directly to prison. Look at them. Look at them, all over the fucking road. So anyway, uh, I freaking, uh, I don't know, I don't have much to say, right? I've just, I just gotta, just gotta try to be excited and not be angry. Got to stop being such a, uh, oh, it's a Malibu. I apologize. That's a hell of a, yeah, they are drunk as shit. Either that or it's a new driver. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Just cannot even complete the turn. Just drunk as shit or high as shit. I'm freaking, uh, I'm freaking out, man. No. i going to try to be a good boy. I do. And not cuss so much and maybe not be so angry in my bitches. Maybe. <clears throat> On account of, you know, I'm angry all the time. And I shouldn't be. I mean... I should be. Any rational person that's paying attention that's not a complete psychopath or just a monster, at least if you live in America. But quite frankly, like, I mean, in case you didn't know, like, as go as goes America, so goes the world. Like, in case you didn't know, like, we're kind of the most powerful country on the face of the planet. Everybody follows our monetary uh, valuation system. And if you don't, we fucking invade you and overthrow your democracies. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you better hope, uh, you better hope I'm not right. You better hope we're not becoming the fascist dictatorship uh, with the slow incrementalism of, of, of ever uh, increasing levels of fascism. I, I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't even wanna, I'm not trying to go down that path even though I think it's like, I think we're fucking through. I think we're gonna have to fucking step into the street, people. I think you're gonna have to grab your neighbors and your rational friends and your family members that aren't psychopaths. And I think we're gonna have to take to the streets and uh, not just vote. I think we're gonna literally have to shut some cities down. And I'm not talking like, you know, 30,000 people or 2,000 people or 10,000. I'm talking like we're gonna have to get 90 million people in the streets. We're gonna have to get a third of the country in the streets to shut this country down you know, in peaceful protest to let them know that we are no longer fucking around and that uh, if they want to actually see an, a real, true, unhinged left, uh, then go ahead and keep playing the same fucking games you're playing and see if we're not in a civil war in a matter of years. This is not uh, hyperbole. This is absolute truth. Not being facetious, not being hyperbolic, I'm not trying to be like, you know, fatal or like a fatalist. <clears throat> you know, I'm not trying to be a dooms, a doomsayer. I'm just, I'm simply stating the fucking facts. I mean, all you gotta do is look at the motherfucking evidence and look at history and look at how other countries who have, I mean, they're, <laughs> we wouldn't be the first country that used to be a democracy that slipped into, uh, slipped into a, a dictatorship. And we're well on our fucking way. <sighs> Oh, oh, wait, this is going to be a cheery video, I forgot. Son of a dick! Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Mutton Chop's Doom, Channel of Doom from henceforth. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to get myself some happy pills. Maybe, uh, well, one more semester, the only graduates, we can get married, put me on the insurance, then I can just get on the old speed diet, right? The old, the old, how you doing, give me the Adderall every month. I have a hard time focusing. Give me some speed! I'll be happy, I'll get shit done, 
My back will hurt less until I fucking completely throw it out from doing too much shit. I apologize. I thought. Anyway, we're on our way to town to, uh, to get a pizza because the last thing I'm worried about is fucking healthy eating. I mean, I eat healthy all the time. I die and being a little bit facetious now. But, <laughs> so the family, emer emer the family emergency that I alluded to with the introductory tech and the, uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the comeback clips. I mean, not really the comeback clips, but the first shit I uploaded, which is why I got the introductory, because there's all little backlog stuff, probably for a while, right? That's what you get. So, <laughs> I love you, but that's what you get, right? Oh my goodness. So, the eldest there, uh, 25, soon to be 26, has been having some serious nut pain from something, not really sure what. But, uh, you know, hey, well, well, you can schedule a point with a urologist, I mean, whatever. He's had a hydrocell when he was younger from uh, Hydrocell, if that was a mispronunciation. One time he jumped on the four-wheeler like an effer and <laughs> just slammed his old saccharoonie there. And, uh, no goop! You know, he's had, he's had trauma to it before, but uh, wasn't anything like that. And he was talking testicular torsion, but no chance because it's not, it wasn't sort of that kind of pain. But anyway, so it's just a mild nut sack pain over a couple of days and, you know, advice of the nurse mother, you know, take it easy and try to elevate it if you can and just rest. Well, he wakes up the other day excruciatingly in pain and is writhing around the floor shortly thereafter, just like I say, in, in, in screaming agony, barely. But he, like myself, not a big fan of the pain and uh, perhaps a bit overdramatic, perhaps not. I don't really know, like it's not, I'm not in the body, so who am I to say? So needless to say, Grandma is shortly is 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 at my door shortly thereafter, banging like the mother effing police, like just I mean I'm I'm in my first sips of my first cups of coffee, just waking up. The back's always tighter a dick than she is for the first couple hours, so my movement's always slow and precise when I first get up until I hear the police trying to SWAT team trying to just come in my fucking door or. Is it a home invasion or should I get the gun? Or So I'm sitting here doing triple takes after I'm bounded out of the chair, <laughs> you know, with the adrenaline flowing, not realizing the pain that will be soon ensuing throughout my tire. Oh, how you thought? But nonetheless, uh, decide upon the better part of valor and just go to the door unarmed and uh, assuming the shortness, the, the non-physical person that I can't see is probably not a cop standing off the side since I don't see any cars at my windows with no blinds. But, uh, or SWAT team, even though I haven't done anything wrong, so I got no reason for the fucking police, but you never know, you know, funny, somebody, somebody swatted my ass, or whatever that shit's called. You know about that shit? Google that, cocksuckers. But, uh, anyway, so, oh, I shouldn't use that word. Uh, fart knockers. Anyway, digression mode, and, uh, it was grandma talking about Renanis, or, you know, talking about mommies come over immediately. Sebastian's on the floor screaming in pain. Well, shit. Uh, ambulance ride, <laughs> hospital admittance, and a couple of days later, uh, raised cardiac enzymes and apparently had some sort of a uh, cardiac episode. So that's no good. And uh, <clears throat> picked him up today. So he, again, he's got to go back for a echo, cardiac echo and a stress test in a few days. But it's just the weekend and they don't run that department in this small town hospital on the weekend. And we have to go to Atlanta, which is not going to happen. So, uh, I don't know, they put him on Lipitor and some, gave him some, uh, some glycerin as a just-in-case precaution. And then gave him, prescribed the old 81 milligram aspirin per day regimen. But he's literally been homeschooled and eating garbage <coughs> since, and done, I mean, he was, since he was homeschooled in sixth grade, he's basically been completely inactive, done, doing absolutely zero and uh, eating garbage. So a completely sedentary lifestyle, and eating absolute garbage, except for the short period after I came here and he ate what I cooked yeah. when I was cooking. But for, primarily she was working so much before that, before I came here, that he was getting all his groceries and all his meals from his grandmother, who just buys crap, cooks crap. Like she doesn't even, like, if she's making spaghetti, like that meat doesn't get drained. Like she fries up that meat and it just starts dubbing in the sauce. Like zero fox, like there you having grease galore. So needless to say, he's got cholesterol, uh, like a fucker. 
because completely sedentary lifestyle. You know, they seem to think that because he's done a total of, you know, maybe a hundred hours worth of uh, physical activity in that 14 years, that somehow that is like, no, no, you don't understand. He's literally, that's the equivalent of nothing. He's literally done zero. Since like he's been 11 years old. Since he's been 11 years old, he's literally had zero activity whatsoever. And he's been sitting on his ass eating garbage. Like, it's amazing he's not dead yet. So hopefully he's going to fucking take some. And it, two days before that happened, I had just talked to him. And I said, you know, if I could give you any advice that you would listen to, it would be to start exercising now <clears throat> while you're young before your body takes a toll on you. Not mentioning out loud the fact that, plus, you don't have any sort of, and never will, have any sort of wear and tear on your body from actually working. So you stand really good of living, if you start being healthy now, and then two days later, cardiac episode. So, anyway, I gotta call in this pizza.